then why are you even applying in the first place? Ask me. Hi, wonderful people. This is your girl, Phoebe, for the Phoebe way. And guys, today, Ebenezer, this is how far the Lord has brought us. Thank you so, so much, Lord. Thank you at home watching me. My name is Phoebe, and this is the Phoebe way. And today, the Phoebe way, this channel is exactly one year old. 6 June 2020 was the first time that I uploaded a video, the, Phoebe, the video, I said the Phoebe called, the video called Before You Move to Germany. And I got so much encouragement from your feedback. I did go on hibernation a bit this past few weeks because I was preparing a new concept. I'll tell you a bit about that in, a, in just a little bit. But the Phoebe way is one year. Wir sind ein Jahr alt. Wir sind ein Jahr und wir haben durchgehalten. Es gab so viele Schwierigkeiten, es gab so viel dabei zu lernen. We, I've learned a lot on this journey. I've learned a lot about myself and discovered a lot about myself as well. And also, the objective of this channel has been established, okay? I always wanted to make sure this channel was the go-to place for you to come if you need help, if you have questions about Germany, and this is what it has become. And thank you so, so much. Thank you. So, we are going to continue with the informative videos. And as I said, I've learned a lot about myself. I realized that I love this video thing. I love creating content. I love talking about other topics and not only about life in Germany. So therefore, I am going to dedicate the Phoebe way just to um, content on life in Germany and answering questions about life in Germany. And then there is a new channel called Phoebe Space that is more personal where you come to where you get to meet me one on one, where we talk about other topics, you know, life experiences. So we'll talk about my other passions, fashion, cooking, spirituality. Yes, and I, I love talking about scriptures and all of that as well. So if this is what you want to hear about, meet me on Phoebe Space. Yes, I just named it Phoebe Space because that is my personal space, like where I discuss other matters. Just that have that 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 doesn't have to do with life in Germany per se. Okay, so guys, I want to say thank you so, so much. Thank you. Part of the concept is that we, are, we want to have you engaging with us more. So follow us on Facebook, The Phoebe Way. Join the group, The Phoebe Way group, the TPW family. That is our name there, like, but follow The Phoebe Way group. On Instagram, it's at The Phoebe Way. You can also follow my personal page, Phoebe Day. And on Twitter, it is also The Phoebe Way. So guys, Thank you so, so, so much. A year has come and we pray to God for more. And you know, within a year, we are 1,500 subscribers, even more currently, but we are over 1,500 subscribers. Thank you so, so much. Let's keep growing, keep viewing, keep commenting, keep sharing. When you subscribe, do not forget to activate the notification button as well. Thank you. Akme Madasi. Herzlichen Dank an euch allen. And you see it on the next video. So don't go anywhere. Stay here. <laughs>I've been listening to your comments, I've been listening to your input, and today we're going to talk about how to apply for jobs in Germany. Okay, so first of all, you need to find the kind of job that you want to do, right? Where do you find these jobs? Right here. Stepstone, indeed. One thing that many people do not know is that check on Bundesagentur für Arbeit, check on the Bundesagentur's page. Check Job Center. There are so many websites, and if for students, check your university's websites as well. They have these platforms for companies to come and show you what they can offer. All right. So, first of all, find the job. But I'm going to say this: in your application process, one tip that is quite common in Germany, but nobody will tell you, is employers are actually looking for already employed people, just looking for a new home. It's just like similar to dating, you know? The person who's already in a relationship is more attractive to the person who is single because it means if you're single, your market value is low, right? That's how some of the people think like. The person who 
The person who is already in a relationship seems to have a higher street value or market value than the person who isn't, right? So they want what somebody already has, similar to employers. They also want what that employer has. And since you're already wanting to leave, they want to see if you fit into the company, all right? So let us just get into the application process. First, you need to figure out what they want from you. So please read the job description very, very well and ask yourself, what does this company want to achieve? What are their goals? And how can I contribute to this goal? Because as we go further in this inter in this as we go further in this video, you realize that this first step is going to make or break your cover letter because that is what will make sure that is what you're going to sell to them. If you don't know how you're going to contribute to the company achieving their goals, then why are you even applying in the first place? Now, as you're going to write the cover letter, make sure that you show high motivation through your words, through your attitude, and just make, let them know that you want the job, you are made for the job, and that's all you know. And also, they need you, because of course, you're going to contribute to, this, you're going to, contribute to their success, to your goals. Let's prepare the cover letter. I'm going to give the cover letter in the German style, and if you want to know the format, like how to build it, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below as well, so you can actually check that out and see how you can build it, but I'm now going to concentrate on the content so the first paragraph is why are you applying for the job you don't have to always say I saw your anti-tiger blah 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 sometimes you can also get personal you can say hey I'm new in Germany I'm new in this field I'm already working in this field I want to try out that field you are allowed to say first paragraph is your motivation for application and I think it's boring if I were an HR person I would find it boring to hear you say it's like you have an answer I get down with that you see now often this be bear bitch me even me I've used that line change it change it okay so if you are new in Germany you can talk about that say I'm new in Germany and I want to step into my career in Germany say something like that okay second paragraph is is for you to talk about your skills your aptitude, what you bring to the table. Third paragraph is, why are you interested? Why you? Why should they pick you? And also, why the company? So, why should they pick you? Also means, why do you people fit together? You know, why should they choose you? Why this company? Because as you, if I will say, we are two peas in a pod, we fit, we match, it's like Wache and Gary and Thalia and Willie. We are a team. Basically, that's what you have to tell them. And then the final paragraph, that is the closing paragraph, you then talk about your prospects, so what you f what you want for yourself and your career and your future, what, where you see yourself and how the company can tr contribute to that. And also the value that they can give you and the value that you can give them. So the value that you can give them and the, and the value that they can give you. And basically that's it. Remember, it is a formal letter, so just K-I-S-S, keep it short and simple. That is number one rule. Keep it short and simple, okay? When it comes to CV, you need your personal details, professional experience, education, your language skills, your special aptitudes and interests. Tell them all of that. Know what kind of position you're applying for and what is relevant for that position. Make sure everything you put in your CV is relevant to that position. And when it comes to the skills, Make sure that you highlight those skills that are relevant for the position. The next thing you would need are copies of your educational certificates. After that, you need copies of your testimonials or references. So you can also add your passport photos if they ask for it. When it comes to you applying online, this is something that is new as opposed to some years back where everything was being sent in hard copy. But now most of the companies want you to apply on their platform online and you have to upload everything. So meaning your cover letter would have to be in PDF, meaning your CV will have to be in PDF. And if you are just uploading to the platform, you can do everything in PDF, your cover letter as well. But once you have to send an email, your cover letter is basically the email text, right? So you don't have to do an extra one. That email text is your cover letter. So you just type that into your email. The HR personnel is pleased with your application. They want to know more about you because you did everything correctly. You were not boring, you stood out. That is great. You are invited for an interview. Nowadays, these interviews are actually online. So before the set time, make sure that your technical equipment are working. So your internet is fine, your laptop is working, your headphones, everything is fine. 
your face looks clean and good and fresh and also of course even though you're not showing up just make sure you're appropriately dressed appropriately dressed if you have to go for a physical meeting and you're going for the interview make sure you're dressed correctly you're wearing nice sets of trousers a nice shirt or, or a jacket depending on the kind of position that it is or depending on the kind of company and as a lady you also make sure that you are dressed decently and well when you go shake hands oh now you don't have to shake hands anymore but keep eye contact don't be nervous stay calm and also stay factual so don't blow things out of proportion we are still in germany and of course as i've said in many other videos be punctual in fact be overly punctual okay because anything can happen so just be there on time and also if you're doing the online thing that's why i said make sure that things you check everything you control everything beforehand before that said appointment remember do not criticize your past employers past current don't don't do it because it tells that you are somebody who's also going to do the same thing to them in case you should leave or even as you are with them you don't mind you don't mind tarnishing the company's image so please do not do that take time to research okay research about the company and also some part of your cover letter already why you want to work with them when it comes to what you currently do and your achievements prepare and provide examples for these achievements so you have applied you have been invited for the interview and you have been accepted these are certain things that you should have ready by the time your application is accepted by the time you start work, it's a list of documents. Your Steuer Identifikationsnummer, that's your tax ID. Your Mitgliedsbescheinigung von der Krankenkasse, so your health insurance certificate that you are you actually are registered with them. You will need your Sozialversicherungsnummer, that is your social insurance number. If you are a foreigner here, make sure that you have your work visa if you are not an EU, if you're not from an EU member state, or if you're not German. So make sure that you have your work visa if you need it to work. If you need if you are actually not an EU um, citizen or a German citizen and then some companies or some jobs so if you're working in a legal firm if you're working in with with children and all of that they will ask you for a few things that is your certificates of conduct so make sure you have that as well and they don't want it to be older than six months so basically if you employ if your application process is taking longer you might have to get a new one and then last but not the least, give them your bank details for your money. So guys, I think we have come to the end of today's video. I hope I answered your questions. The extra tips for today are, one, if you want to apply for a job in Germany, it helps if you're already working first. It increases your chances. So if there's a job that you can see yourself doing, even if it's not your dream job, but you can still see yourself doing, start that job, okay? Don't sit waiting for the best opportunity. Start that job before you actually apply for a new one. Now, if you're actually changing careers or career fields, make sure that you have those qualifications black on white. You have those certificates for those for that new path or for that new field that you are trying to um, set your foot on. So you're trying you're trying to enter. So please make sure that you have the qualifications. One, start something already. And three, do not forget to keep your cover letter short. K-I-S-S. Thank you for watching and sticking with me. If you have any questions, comment your questions in the comment section below. If you want to connect with me, there's a Facebook group, The Phoebe Way. There's the page, The Phoebe Way. On Instagram, I'm The Phoebe Way. On the Instagram, it is The Phoebe Way or just Phoebe Way. That is my personal account. On Twitter as well, you can just DM me. And of course, if you prefer an email because it's going to be a longer text, LDV with Phoebe at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching and see you same time next Sunday. Take good care of yourselves. Bleib zuversichtlich. Bis zum nächsten Sonntag. And hey, if you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and activate the notification button. Like, comment, and share this video. Let everybody hear about it, okay? Thank you so much. Bye.